Hello everyone and welcome back to another Christmas special video. Uh, in today's one we're on Trainson World 2 and we are on the Brighton Main Line, which is possibly the best British route in the game. Obviously do pop your thoughts in the comments below. But we're going to be taking the service up to Gatwick Airport, sort of taking people, I don't know, uh, on holiday. Yeah, we're taking people for the Christmas holidays even though this will be on Christmas Day and there won't be any flights on Christmas Day. Well, there's no trains on Christmas Day. But yeah, we're, we're heading up to Gatwick Airport. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually snowed in Sussex. It is a rare occasion. I think the last time I saw proper snow in Sussex, where it was actually quite bad, was... I can actually remember the exact date. It was January the 16th, 2013. Yes, coming up to eight years ago. Um, it last, well, over eight years ago, coming up to nine years, wow, since it last properly snowed in Sussex, or at least where I am in Sussex, which is not too far from Brighton. Right, there you go, that's all good, let's do the bell, and let's get going, so Gatwick Airport is next, which should be, unless I've accidentally done a southern one, no, there you go. As, um, yeah, occasionally you'll get a 387 running a southern service. Yeah, let's get down to the details of the route. So this is the London commuter, uh, as Dovetail have called it, although I just say Brighton Mainline. Uh, it runs uh, 50 miles between Brighton and obviously London, Victoria. Uh, the midpoint will be in Gatwick. And you get the class 387 and the 377. And yet, you may have noticed it, there is a 313 there. And you're probably wondering, how do you get the 313? Well, to get the 313, you need East Coastway, which is the route that goes, yep, yeah, from here, uh, Brighton, off towards uh, Seaford and Eastbourne, which is over the viaduct that way. But you need that route with the 313, and then if you're on Next Gen or PC, or then you'll get a few extra services on, on this route for, for it. Yeah, we're going to head up to Gatwick. That's about 20, 25 minutes. But yeah, hopefully everyone's all well. And if you're enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe if you do want to see more. Hopefully everyone is having a good Christmas so far. I'm not too sure what time this one will be going at. Of, well, pretty much with every Christmas special I've recorded so far, I've, I've said that. Because I don't know. They'll probably just be in random order. Um, but yeah, hopefully... Uh, this video does find everyone well and hopefully you're having a uh, good day. But yeah, I thought I'd put together some Christmas videos that we did last year. For anyone who may be alone this Christmas or just you know wants to watch a few videos at Christmas and chill out with you guys in the chat since these will be premiering. So thanks all for coming in. And I see the title of this video will be, well, I think it will be, it might change. The best British route? Question mark. But I, I do think this is the best British route. I mean, it's a, quite a close call, really, between I'd say this one and East Coast and South Eastern High Speed. Although this one comes on top because of just how busy it is. Uh, the Electro Stars. The, it's, it's the Brighton Main Line, <laughs> and the busyness of it as well. Is that train stop there. Oh yeah, you do get the one stop in there. What I'm thinking. Yeah, it runs uh, 50 miles London to Brighton, and you also get the Rygate branch as well, which comes off. Uh, there's, I mean, yeah, the timetable, there's over a thousand services for just the 377. So, what's that? Four times the amount of what you usually get in a timetable, and that's just for one train. If you've got the other layers, that's another sort of 500 or so services. Um, so yeah, very busy route. Uh, well, it's the full length as well, London to Brighton. Um, which does, yeah, help sort of with that decision of is it the best British route. And it's also the rush hour one as well. So it's got level crossings, PIS, uh, rush hour passengers, the smart PIS. Well, that's what I call it, the smart PIS, because it's better than what the other trains in the game have got. So you've got the... Um, let's call it the you got it scrolling on the side. Oh, and also, I wonder, have they changed this as well? 
going to go into the tunnel. We'll check in a minute. So it used to say this is the southern service to London, Victoria, which obviously it's the Gatwick Express. And it used to say London, calling at, I know, Gatwick Airport, London, Victoria, and London, Victoria. And there was an update recently to this. So I wonder if that has sorted that. Let's have a look again. Now, still says southern service calling at Gatwick Airport and London, Victoria. But I think that's been sorted where it said London, Victoria and London, Victoria. Well, that might just be after Gatwick it says that. Right, let's get up to 90. It's a fairly quick now. And we're passing through Hassocks, um, Burgess Hill, Withersfield, Haywood Seath, Balcombe, Three Bridges, and then it will then be Gatwick Airport. And I'm doing it up from Brighton, as I just prefer this section from Brighton to Gatwick. Sort of my sort of section, the bit I know the best, well, know the most. Because um, it's my local sort of section of the line. And that's probably the most scenic as well. So in the snout that will look good. That's actually a good thing. I don't think I've actually done this route in the snow. At least I can't think of doing it in the snow before. So usually I sort of try to stick I try to stick to how it would be realistically. So yeah, sort of realistic autumn weather since the roots come out. But I don't think I've done it in the snow. What's well, that that's good though? Right, coming into Clayton Tunnel. Let's do a bit of horn. There you go. And you've got AP sounds on this route as well. Which is also another reason to lead to why this is the British, well, the best British route. It's got very good sounds to it. Let's bring that down. And also, once these Christmas specials are finished, do feel free to check out the Christmas uh, Day 2020 playlist, um, which I also made, where if you want to go and watch some other Christmas specials, where I mention Christmas a lot of times, uh, do go back and check them out as well. I think there's another seven um, on there, and they're all on Train Some World too. And so on that sort of, well, last year we only really had TSW, Bus Sim, and... Well, that was about it, really. And farm sim. But I don't really do videos on farm sim. Bus sim, you, you can't make it snow. So, they're all on TSW. Cool. In fact, let's go over all of the British routes in the game. We haven't done that in the video before, but as it's Christmas, I know a lot of people will be picking up DLC. You might be watching this wondering, hmm, should I get this route? Well, let's go over all of the British routes in the game, if I can remember them off by heart and what they have. So, starting with the first one to come out, which was the Great Western Express. Um, so you get the HST on there, obviously the iconic high-speed Class 43, uh, and the Class 166. And then with that DLC, there's then a further DLC you can get, which is the Diesel Legends of the Great Western, which then comes with the Class 101, uh, sort of a Western region one. Um, you get, I always forget this one. You get the BR Class 52. And what's that last one? I always, always forget it. Oh, and the 08 Shunter. Um... Which, yeah, that's 34 miles between, yes, London, Paddington and Reading. A pretty pretty good route. I mean, it's fairly sort of basic as it's a main line, so there's not, yeah, there's not much to, to see. Um, but, yeah, that's the Great Western Express and the Diesel Legends. What was the next route to come out after? I should know this as I've had TSW since Great Western Express. After Great Western Express, it was... Oh, I'm trying to think what was after Great Western Express. Uh, Great Western Express, that was then... It was West Somerset Railway. Yeah, West Somerset Railway, coming up on Burgess Hill. Uh, which is the longest heritage railway in the UK. And runs between Bishop's Lydiard and Minehead. Well, actually, no, Norton Fitzwarren. Uh, you get that little bonus bit down to there, up to Minehead. 
and with that you get the BR Green Class 47, uh, the Class 09 Shunter, yeah they're the two base and you can get the 33 with it, the f Maroon BR Class 52, um, I think that's the DLCs for West Somerset, yeah, right through Withersfield. And it's actually on TS, there's actually a whistleboard around here because there's a foot crossing, but I can't seem to find it on the TSW1, the whistleboard. But yeah, that was the West Somerset Railway if you want a nice chilled out journey. Max speed 25 miles an hour, rolling through the hills along the coast. It's, it's a lovely little route. Um, What was that after West Somerset? Uh, West Somerset, then it was Northern Trans Pennine, which was January 2019 that came out. I remember that one because you could actually pre-order it. It was the only DLC, well, apart from the season ticket, that you could um, pre-order. Uh, yes, Northern Trans Pennine. I think that's around 40. It's something for. I always get confused. I think it's 46 miles long or 48 miles long. It's actually quite a long route. Um, that runs between Leeds and Manchester, Victoria. It's set in 1983. Yes, 1983. And with it, you get the class 45, the peak. Uh, you get the class 47 and the class 101 in the two car formation. Um, lovely route. A uh, bit of a challenge. It's got the grades on it. Uh, very scenic. Uh, and yeah, uh, uh, historic route. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a brilliant route. Oh, what, what, was, what am I saying now? Um, yeah, that was Northern Trans Pennine. What came after Northern Trans Pennine? Uh, after Northern Trans Pennine, it was, I think, Tees Valley. Yeah, because that one was January, then Tees Valley was May, because I remember I was doing my uh, GCSEs, I think, when Tees Valley came out. It was like the sort of gap between the exams. So I was sort of having a break. I was like, oh, let's get Tees Valley. I still remember it quite well. Yes, I think that was yeah, that was 2019. Um, and with Tees Valley, it goes from Darlington to Saltburn. It's 26 miles. Yes, I think 26 miles. Um, yeah, Darlington to Saltburn. Uh, very industrial, and that one's set in 1989. And with that, you get the Class 37, the tractor. Oh, so yeah, that locomotive sounds amazing. Uh, and you also get the Class 101, but this time in three car formation, although you can still get the two car one for the Middlesbrough service. But yeah, if you like freight stuff, yeah, Tees Valley, very good for it. And for that, you can get the Class 31 and Class 20 as DLC. Uh, and all of these sort of classic locomotives that actually do go on to the West Somerset Railway where you can use them for well heritage services and after Teed Valley there was actually quite a big gap between then and the next British route um, yeah after Teed Valley it was East Coastway uh, my second favourite route in the game uh, which runs between uh, Brighton so where we started today's journey and what I pointed out goes over the viaduct well, here comes Balkan Viaduct actually um, and that runs to uh, Eastbourne and Seaford and that one is 30 miles yeah because I think it's 23 miles between Brighton and Eastbourne and 7 miles from Southern Junction down to Seaford on the, on the Seaford branch and with that you get the old 377 um, which has the old sounds on it so it doesn't sound as good as the ones on here um, and the class 66 in EWS and DB Livering. Oh, that reminds me, yes, for Great Western Express, you also get the uh, DB and EWS class 66, but it's the old 66 in the game, done by, I believe, Skyhook Games. Yeah, sorry, I did forget that. I always forget that one when talking about Great Western Express. Um, so, yeah, that is, yeah, that's East Coastway. And then with East Coastway, you can then get the class 313. Uh, which is one of the newest DLCs to the game. And if you are thinking about picking up East Coast Play, get the free one free with it. Um, 
coming up on Balkan. What was off the East Coast way? I think it was another big gap actually between British routes. Uh, East Coast way was December 2019. I'm trying to think what the next British route was after that. I think it was quite some time actually. I'm trying to think back. And yeah, then it was COVID happened. Uh, the next British route after East Coast way. I was trying to think. Uh, 2020. I actually can't think. It will come to me in a second. Uh, after East Coast way. Wasn't Southeastern, was it? No, no. It was. Uh, it was the. Bakerloo line, yeah, the Bakerloo line. So that was uh, quite a big gap actually between British DLCs. Um, yeah, that was quite a big gap, about nine months. Unless I am missing a DLC out, which I don't think I am. Uh, but yeah, it was um, the Bakerloo line, which uh, runs between Elephant and Castle and Harrow and Woods. And it's only 14 miles long, but it's an underground line, so it still takes about an hour to get from one end to the other. 25 stations or so with the 1972 stock, and also recently Rivet Games did release the 1938 stock, so you get an option now of what one you want to drive with a separate timetable. Uh, and then after the Bakerloo line, it was then South Eastern High Speed. Yeah, South Eastern High Speed after the Bakerloo line, which was February 2021. So there was another a bit of a gap between routes. Uh, and obviously that goes between St Pancras International, 51 miles along to Faversham, and you get the high speed section and the classic section and with that you get the 395 javelin um the class 375 as well and as dlc you then can get the class 465 networker then after southeastern high speed the next one was what was that i'm, I'm getting after southeastern high speed it was it wasn't the bright main one was it I think it was the Brighton Main Line, yeah, the Brighton Main Line after, oh, we got a yellow coming up. Which, yeah, comes with the 387 and the 377. And then, more recently, the beginning of November, we got the West Cornwall local route. Um, which, uh, actually, I, I will talk about in a in one of the other Christmas specials. And that comes with the Class 150 and the 37 and runs between... Penzance, St. Austell and St. Ives. Now I think that's all the British routes in the game. All the ones off the top of my head. Which has been brilliant to see sort of how Trains and Worlds come along. Because I've sort of I've played Trains and Worlds since the very beginning on console. Which was um July the twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. Just to see sort of the progress, um of the game, it's uh, yeah, it's come quite a way. Obviously, it's still in its infancy. The game, obviously, if you compare it to, and I, I know I keep saying obviously, I know I get comments saying you always say obviously, even though it's not obvious. I don't I always say it. Um, I've lost my uh, lost what I was going to say now. Um, this is three bridges. Can't remember it. Oh yes, yeah, the Train Simulator 2 has come a long way and it's still in its infancy. I mean, if you look at Train Simulator, that's been out for 12 years. And that's still not got every line in the world and not all of the features. Um, so yeah, Train Sim World is um, still a very young game. I mean, give this game another sort of seven years, I'm sure we'll have all different countries where... Yeah, it'll be quite a expansive game. Steam as well. Probably quite a bit of Steam, actually. Seems like we are following a service into Gatwick. Probably one which has um, come up from Horsham. As otherwise, we would have been following it up beforehand as well, which we, which we hadn't. So let's come up with the Aaron Valley line. 
What is one route you'd like to see in Train Simulator 2? Pop it in the um, comments below. Yes, AWS. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say the West Coast way. Comple I suppose it completes Brighton. And we've got the East Coast way, the Brighton Main Line, and the West Coast way. Boom, done. <laughs> that is Brighton done and dusted. This will probably be in the same platform as well at Gatwick, so we'll probably have to wait outside. Which is realistic, I've been stuck at this signal quite a few times in real life. And the thing is, this is supposed to be the express service, and you're always getting held up by the southern services, which are the, well, not supposed to be express. There's another single yellow. And in one of today's video, uh, I'm still sort of working out what I am going to do for all of today's videos. Um, I might be landing at Gatwick. I might do a flight in. You might not. It, you might not see it. Um, but yeah, I might do a flight from Bournemouth to Gatwick. It's around half. Well, 20 minutes, but might set up, land in half an hour, in the snow. So maybe I'll try and sort of. Um, link those ones or maybe do Gatwick to somewhere in the snow yeah maybe do that yeah, that'd be quite cool then we can um, yeah sort of have this one we'll have that one after this one so that might be a video try and get the snow on there I still remember last year's Christmas specials. I think it was like a first look at quite a few DLCs. As I, say, I didn't have all of the DLC back then. So I think for the Christmas specials, one of them was like first look at the DBBR 155, first look at the 363 Shunter. But yeah, hopefully everyone is having a um, good Christmas. What's everyone up to? Maybe you are still opening your presents. Maybe you've just got up. Um, Maybe you're having Christmas dinner. Um, I don't know, but pop it in the comments below. Discuss with people in the chat. And obviously, thanks to everyone who is in. Alright, coming up on the red. Right, set to forward. But yeah, hopefully everyone watching live. Hopefully everyone is having a uh, a good Christmas. There goes a plane flying over. Cool. And you'll probably find me in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be knocking around in the Discord most of the day. So if you've got any messages uh, or anything, do uh, do ping me in the Discord and I'll probably reply back fairly quickly. Do check Discord a fair bit, but a link to that is below. So if you want any help with what DLC to get or anything like that, yeah, just message me on Discord or comment below. Although Discord I'll probably check it more often, so do that. This is Gatwick Airport. Oh, so I will be streaming today as well. That will be hopefully around 4 p.m. That could change though. Uh, but yeah, hopefully around 4 p.m. I'll be streaming. Not too sure what route that will be. Probably this route actually. But we'll wait and see. I am recording this towards the beginning of December, so I haven't got any clue yet what route may be out or, yeah, what route I'll be doing. And here we are. Let's see, it's Gatwick Airport. People enjoy the holidays. We'll get off the suitcase, get on the plane and fly. Or if we do do a flight, some flight, maybe they'll fly to Bournemouth. That'll be a very short flight and probably a bit of a pointless flight to go on, but... Yeah, it probably does happen. 
Um, but that is going to be everyone for uh, this Christmas special. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Um, have a lovely rest of your Christmas and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.